So when we think about this rent versus buy analysis, what's going on here with this is this is a possible calculation to be familiar with for the exam. And, you know, it's, it's, it's got a little bit of algebra in it. The question I commonly hear from people is, well, what do I do with it when I'm done? I mean, if it makes more sense to buy it, if I need it for seven or more days, then rent it. What do I do with it when I'm done? I don't care. Sell it on eBay, donate it to a charity, let it become dust in the wind. The bottom line is, if you get a test question on this, I want you to recognize if I need it for more than certain, a certain number of days, then more days than that, I need to buy it instead of rent it. So, there's some parameters that come into play here. Now, I'm going to use our, our whiteboard, which is at pearsonview.com forward slash standalone dash pages forward slash whiteboard dot ASPX. So if you've seen my other videos on the whiteboard, the links are there as well. You scroll to the bottom, the whiteboard is there. Now we're going to use the text box primarily. A lot of power with the text box tool. You can also uh, you can also drag or pan if you will with this. So like if you had things you know, you wanted to drag off Canvas to be able to do to do this, that's fine. And my understanding is when you come back from part to part two of the exam, anything you've drawn is still there. So let's let's use a text box. Now let's assume we've got a process table over here, maybe a network diagram here. We're going to put something down here. So I'm going to give myself a text box. And actually, for our purposes, for this video, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say, I'm going to set it up a little. Buy is $500 plus 50 a day maintenance. Rent is $150 a day with maintenance. In other words, included. Okay, I mean, uh, there we go. Okay. Now, that said, you could do the algebra. If you're like some of my students, you know, they could look at something. They could just go, oh, yeah, boom, it's X. Um, okay, I'm going to show you the crosswind way shortcut. So here's what it amounts to. It's kind of like balancing a checkbook register. You just add up in a checkbook what you spend each day or what you deposit each day. In this case, it's just what you spend each day. So we're just going to add them up as we go. Now, this does not scale well. So in other words, if it was 80 days, I would tell you manipulate the formula. But I don't believe you're going to get more than about 10 to 12 days because if you can do that, you can do a bigger set of numbers. So let's get another text box up here. I've got my parameters over here. And so I'm going to just do buy. I'm going to hit a few spaces, and I'm learning here. Apparently, there we go. Drag the box a little bigger. And remember, when you leave the box, it will not let you go back in from what I have been able to see. So I'm going to do rent. Okay, now, and I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to do as well. I'm going to go day. There we go. Now, so you're just going to add it up as you go. So day zero. I'm going to say I bought it for 500 and I'm going to say on day zero because before I start using it, I have to buy it versus rent is 150 at, sorry, rent is zero. So at day one, I spent how much? 550 and rent, I spent 150 at the end of the day. Day two, I spent how much? 600, 300. Day three, uh, 650. Day three, 450. We're getting close. Day four, uh, what do I have? 700. I think we have a shift in the poles here. 600. We're getting close. Day five, day five might be a good day. 750 and 750. Now, let's do one more to be safe. So that gets me 800. And then the next, 
rent is going to be what? 900. That said, yes, that's why this does not scale well. If you had 80 days, I would tell you manipulate the formula. But all I'm doing is adding up what I've spent each day. So again, before I start using it on day one, I got to buy it. So I'd use day zero there just for clarity. So before I start using it, got to buy it. But I just added up what I had either spent buying it or renting it day by day. So day four, it still makes more sense to rent than buy because it's cheaper. Day five, I could go either way. So if I needed it for six or more days, we could say it makes more sense to buy the thing than rent the thing. And that's a short, little, quick, concise way to use this virtual whiteboard to get it done. And even if you had a relatively big canvas, see, I can't go back. Well, will it let me back? Okay. Um, even if I had a relatively big canvas or whatever, you know, with a lot of stuff on it, I can just click this and drag it in or out of the window. So that's how that goes. Uh, feel free to give us any feedback, uh, subscribe, and uh, let us know any, of any other topics we can uh, make videos for, and good luck passing that PMP exam. Thank you.